this spells trouble minus four so I thought I'd come in here this morning to do the hop drop and the STC is reading 90 degrees in the unit and it's on full blown cool yet inside it is freezing look even the water in the airlock has frozen the beer is still liquid just but something has catastrophically failed what is it is it the probe let's take the probe off oh my god now look at that I think I think I can see it look in there you probably can't see I can see a little bit of copper and that's going mantle this blue tack is frozen solid oh my god that'll explain why the past few beers have been out of whack folks so what do I do now I think we'll just turn this off until we can sort this out later today I'll close the door oh my god so at least it's not been high it's not been above 20 degrees C but it has been really cold in there so I'll put this back in I'll reset it minus bloody five oh, fingers crossed we can sort out a new probe for this god damn it I was going to dry hop today as well. Alright, well after the false start this morning, we've been up to the sorting office again and picked up the final ingredient, I believe, for the rubber rejuvenation project. Oh my god, packing peanuts. I freaking hate these things. Right. Talk about single-use plastics. Right, so here we have it. This is, let's get into it. It's basically called wintergreen oil. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, methyl silicate. Is that right? Yeah, methyl sal salicylate. Is that right? That sound better? Methyl salicylate, 99% solution. Even with a bit of plastic floating around in the bottom, hey? Now I'm gonna give I'm gonna have a bit of a rant now. APC Pure, oh this has come off. They say next day dispatch. I've waited over a week for this. These things, which came yesterday, they've come all the way from China. These motorized valves. They got here quicker than this from APC Pure. They are crap with dispatch. And obviously crap 99.9% .9 pure. Well, you do have to question that don't you when there's little bits of plastic floating around in your solution but let's open her up and have a sniff oh you know what it smells like it smells like the stuff that you have at the dentists to rinse your mouth out with so that in combination with a big tub of isopropyl alcohol and some dimethicone is what we're going to use to rejuvenate the rubber gaskets which are here on the plate heat exchanger okie doke so we're going to have a bit of a play now with the gaskets from the plate heat exchanger and some of these ingredients that I picked up off eBay what you can do with this rubber according to a couple of the videos I've watched on YouTube is bring this up to 90 degrees in some water or 98 degrees science in some water to re-anneal the rubber if it's particularly hard as you can see it's not really that hard uh, so I don't think it needs re-annealing and obviously it goes through a heat treatment process every time it's used as uh, as uh, on the plate, plate every time it's used on the plate exchanger so what we're going to try and do is make the rubber more supple by replacing some of the plasticizers that have been lost out of the rubber all of these uh, chemicals are 
uh, approved in one way or another. We've got alcohol here, this methyl cell silicate, I'm not sure what it is, but it smells like mouthwash, and this dimethicone, they use it in cosmetics all the time. So it's not like we're putting anything toxic in there, I think. So all I'm gonna basically do is mix them together and see what happens. So because I've only got 500 ml of this methyl sal silicate or salicylate, uh, we're gonna start with maybe a two to one mix of alcohol and the methyl sal silicate thing. And hopefully that will give us enough solution to submerge the said rubber gasket. So yeah, there's a good 500 mil in there. Let's put some more in. Oh yes, there's quite a bit in there now. Then we'll add some of this methyl salicylate. Salicylate. Methyl salicylate, yeah. Just a splash it as a reaction. No. So we'll give a good glug of that. There we go, we've got half a bottle in there. And then I think we just need a few drops of the old dimethicone. Not exactly, oh, I don't think that was meant to go in. Anyway, one, two, well, that was a good few drops there. And uh, then something to mix it with. A knife. Well, certainly, I'd best put the lid on that before I set anything on bloody fire. This is what I set on fire yesterday. Right, we'll fish that. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. We'll fish that out. Bin it. Good shot. It almost does smell good enough to drink. Maybe not. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Whew. Right. In we go, little gasket of truth. In we go. I'm going to weigh it down with a stainless fitting. Hopefully it doesn't come out completely misshapen. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that in there for maybe 24 hours. And we'll see, we'll see if it's, uh, if it's going to work. We'll see if it works. Well, seeing as it is Alcafrol, I'm gonna cover it up to prevent any evaporation. I don't have an elastic band, so I'll just whack a bit of masking tape around it. And also prevent any stray welding sparks or anything getting in there and causing a fire situation. Right, we've got the safety rail on the staircase and the steps are all in place, everything looks pretty good. I managed to do this uh, with the kids here as well, but they started running right a little bit. So I've come up with uh, a way of containing them until I've got my jobs complete. Are you alright in there, Abby? Yes. No. No? Oh well. You'll be alright for another half an hour, sweetheart, while I get some jobs done, yeah? <laughs> right, let's get some more work done while she's caged. Right, it's only had approximately two or three hours. So I took the gasket out of the solution that we made this morning. And, I mean, freaking wow, just a couple of three hours. All of the glue, what the last person who owned it has put on, it's just, I mean, it just wipes off. Now, me and Gemma were trying to pick this off for ages. And, uh, well, I gave up hoping that this technique would work, and it just slides off. I mean, I cannot, honestly, and you can see the quality of that rubber now. It's just improved so much to what it was. See if I can get another one and show you what it was like. So let's see if we can do a comparison of the two. I know the light isn't great here, but the one this one here is one that's not had any treatment yet and this one has you can just see the shine the sheen is back into the rubber I'm gonna leave it 24 hours we'll pop them back in until tomorrow 
but I'm really pleased and it feels soft again whereas this one I'm worried I'm gonna snap it if you know what I mean right we'll pop them everything this time into a bigger tub so I'm confident it's gonna work I have to fit them all into this tub though so let's grab all the gaskets oh there's about 26 of them give them a twist and a rotate see if we can get them sit in the bottom of here I don't think I've got enough liquid if I'm honest but we'll give it a whirl this is what I already made up this morning and the fitting put the fitting on there to weigh it all down oh, I might get it in I might get it in I don't think I'm going to be able to do the same ratio as what we had There's another stainless steel fitting to weigh it down. And uh, yeah, it appears to me that the, the rubbing alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol, is what's doing the majority of the work here. It's a carrier solvent, you see. So I'll pretty much cover all of the rubber with this solvent. And then we'll just add in this wintergreen oil. There we go. We've got a little bit left for starting fires and stuff in the future. And then yeah, the wintergreen oil, I'll also add pretty much all of this. I'll just save a little bit for future experiments. I like to have a bit of stuff on hand. And then some of the dimethicone. Well, whoop. Well, it's got a good chunk in there now blew the freaking dripper off. <laughs> I've got a bit of wire somewhere. Let's use a little bit of TIG wire to fish that back out. Well, would you believe it? Oh, I can't get it. You know, if I didn't have bad luck, sod it, I'm going in. I'm going in. And if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. I'm not going to put that back on. Oh, the smell is really chemically now, so I'm just going to go and wash my hands and put a lid on this. Right, hands washed. We've got our concoction together. We've also got a bit of a shopping list for tool station. I'm going to get a new saw blade. I've really shagged this one up. And uh, nip over to B&Q and swap some paint. I picked up bloody magnolia the other day instead of freaking white. Oh my gosh, we're home now and uh, I'm going to shoot across the workshop but I don't really want to drag the camera around. I'm going to have an afternoon off. Say afternoon, it's half past one. So we've had issues with the beer, we've had a result with the gaskets and we've made progress in the brewery. Productive week. I'll see you Sunday. If the weather holds, I might grill some burgers. See you then.